What's up guys, it's Ice here from Top Ice Gaming, and I'm here with another World of Warcraft DPS guide for patch 5.1. This is the last of my three level 90s that I personally have, and from here on out it'll probably be, probably be DPS guides on the public test realm. Uh, this is my Frost Death Knight, Sound of Pain, also on Rexar. This time, we're back to the Horde. For the Horde, of course, guys. Um, currently sitting at 479 item level. And, eh, I find Frost Death Knight to be a fairly boring uh, spec to play, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you regardless. Alright, talents. Um, I honestly have not fucked with the talents very much. I just picked the ones that seemed like they were the best for my playstyle. So I, they, they seem really variable. I went with Unholy Blight because that one does seem to be a DPS boost. You pop that on cooldown, does a little bit of extra damage. Spreads disease a little bit too. Uh, I went with Anti-Magic Zone because that's good for the raid team that I raid with on this guy. Uh, be able to pop that, mitigate a little bit of damage, help out the healers, help out everyone. Uh, Chill Banes. Uh, this one, not really anything to do with raids, uh, but none of these three really could help you in raids. Maybe Death's Advance, actually. Yeah, that could help you in raids a little bit for movement, but I went with Chill, chill Banes. Nothing special. Uh, just makes your uh, Frost Fever victims slowed. I went with Death Siphon because it's an instant cast. And it only costs one death rune. And it it's just like a quick little heal in case you need it. Runic Empowerment. Uh, when you land a death coil, frost strike, or rune strike, you have a 45% chance to activate a random fully depleted rune. It's really good because we frost strike quite a bit. That's like our main thing that we spend our runic power on. And I went with Remorseless Winter. As usual, this bottom tier really has nothing to do with DPSing. Uh, this is all sort of PvP. Gorfiend's Grasp can be used in some heroic dungeons, but not raids. Glyphs, only two that are really important, and even even after, I mean, Dark Sucker is not even a DPS increase. The only one that's important is Outbreak. Uh, it no, your Outbreak no longer has a cooldown, but instead costs 40 Runic Power. Uh, that's a little bit better in my opinion, at least for my playstyle. Some people might prefer the cooldown and then just pop it for free. Uh, that's the only important one there. Stat priorities. Uh, strength, of course, is your main attribute stat. Strength, strength, strength. And then as far as secondary stats, your main secondary stat is haste. Haste again. Seems like that's a common thing now. You guys remember in Cataclysm when Mastery was everywhere? Well, before that in Wrath of the Lich King it was all about haste, and it seems like haste is making a comeback. Uh, you want to cap your hit and expertise at 7.5%. I'm a little bit shy on the expertise, but it's close enough for me. Um, after you are hit an expertise capped, you go fully haste, after that, the next best thing is crit, and then after that, mastery. That's assuming you're using a two-handed weapon. If you're dual wielding in frost spec, the best is mastery, and then crit, and then haste. So you just flop haste and mastery. Mastery is better if you're dual wielding. Haste is better if you're using a two-handed weapon. Um, macros to use. Um, I have this one, which is slash use Potion of Mogu Power, slash use my Trinket, which is Lessons of the Dark Master, and slash cast Pillar of Frost. Nothing special. Change that to fit what you need. Main Rotation. Keep your Macro off cooldown. Keep Raise Dead off cooldown. Uh, pop Death and Decay as you can. Keep Unholy Blight off cooldown. Keep Outbreak up on your enemies. Uh, pestilence if you're in an AoE situation. Use Obliterate beforehand if you get a killing machine. You spend it on Obliterate and not Frost Strike unless Obliterate's going to take a long time to cool down. Use Howling Blast. Single target, only when that's the only option or when you get a proc. 
keep Horn of Winter up if you're going to be in a fight longer than 5 minutes. Use Empower Rune Weapon as you see fit off cooldown. Frost Presence is the best presence to be using is a Frost Death Knight, which is different because in Cataclysm we were supposed to be using Unholy Presence. But now we're back to Frost Presence as it should be. Blood uses Blood, Frost uses Frost, Unholy uses Unholy, as it should be. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. Oh, jeez, I hate that this does this. I'm uploading a video for you guys at the moment. I'm uploading Urban Rivals Let's Play Part 2 or 3 at the moment. So sorry about that. But let's get right into this. Uh, again, I will use a 1.5 minute timer to check my single target DPS. I'm possibly going to get a little bit of cleave onto this guy, but it won't be much. Alright, so... Here we go. Keep it go, 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 go. Ah, oh, lag right out the gate. That sucks. Keep that on. Power rune weapon. Get our runes back. Keep it going. Let's spend our runic power. Go obliterate killing machine proc. That was a huge hit. Keep death and decay up if we can. Hit him with another outbreak. Obliterate howling blast proc. Man, why am I lagging so bad? I never lag in WoW. Hmm. There we go, at least it does it all at once still, so it doesn't affect my DPS charts. My DPS charts lag just as much as my action bars do. That's funny. Must be some server issues tonight, or perhaps my internet is having its own issues. Yep. As you can see, we're sitting right at around 60,000 damage single target, which is pretty damn good for a single target. That one was almost completely single target. I spread almost nothing over to this guy. The only thing I hit him with was Frost Fever, and that is only doing 143 damage every 3 seconds. So that's not anything really to be worried about. So we're sitting at 60k on the Death Knight without buffs. And that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching as always. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what content you want to see in the future. And I'll do my best to get that content out to you guys. Hope to see you all viewing my next videos in the World of Warcraft DPS guides and gold making guides uh, playlist. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel for other videos from other game series. Currently I have a series up for Urban Rivals Let's Play and a Minecraft Tekken Let's Play. Please check those out, tell your friends, and once again rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching, best of luck to all you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.